there everybody. Hey, today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. I'm going to try heating one of my greenhouses, that one over there, with my compost bin. One of my buddies was telling me he's putting in a compost system uh, to heat up his whole greenhouse. He has a fairly large single greenhouse and he's going to be using a compost in order to heat it. So I figured, hey, I might as well try this. Uh, I'm going to put my compost bin into my greenhouse do some tests, see if it works, and if it does, I'm going to have another way to heat uh, greenhouses. So, first off, i got to dump this thing. Spin it around first. Open the latch. and get the rest of the compost out of here. Spit it back over. Oh yeah, that's light now. Pick it up and move it over. Work smarter, not harder. So in case you wanted to see, this right here is a, a drain pipe, a big giant one like for roads, a buddy of mine gave it to me, and it's very large, holds a lot of stuff in it. Alright, now I'm going to get the base. Now in case you're wondering how my greenhouse uh, barrel roll, I have some casters down here on the wood, all four corners here. Helps it, makes it nice and smooth. These are just the right size, fits in the grooves of the uh, uh, drainage pipe that I picked up. Easy enough. away from the wall a little bit. Make sure all my wheels are in. Alright, got it in. Got the wheels put in right. And then rolls like a charm. Now I'm going to put some of that dirt that I uh, took out of it back in here and add some chicken poop. We're going to add some of this back in. I'm doing it for the camera. Better turn around this way. And this is basically just to get some of the bacteria that's already starting in there. That'll be good. All right, got the chicken poop. <clears throat> Try to get it in here easy. Now grab these food scraps, paper towels, eggs, and coffee grounds mainly. Standing. You've got some pumpkin in here. Then, just have to have some leaves on the ground. So, the only thing I really got to do with this thing is uh, keep it wet, and we'll see how it uh, puts out heat. Hopefully, it does. If not, just going to sit in here as a composter inside my greenhouse. Give it a couple spins. Might 
might want to put some uh, bricks under this end because it's sort of angled. So I'll probably put a brick or two underneath the uh, base on this side to bring it up and level it out a little bit. And lastly, so I can keep an eye on what's going on inside here, see if this thing's actually working or not. Got myself a little thermometer sensor here. I'm going to go ahead and hang that right up here. So I'll be able to tell what the outside temperature is compared to the inside temperature and uh, keep track of it for a few days and see if this thing's going to be producing some heat at night. Um, other than I have two kitty litter containers down here for a heat sink, a little bit of a heat sink, not much. Uh, but the heat sink acts like a battery where this is actually going to produce heat and produce energy in theory. Uh, we'll see how it does. I uh, got to keep the water in here every once in a while. I add some water to it. Right now the leaves and everything had a lot of water on them that I threw in here. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, I've given it about three days to cook. It's about almost sunrise today. And it is 41 degrees outside and 41 degrees in the greenhouse. I do not see any change. All right, well, it's been a couple days. And I've been turning this thing every time I've gone out to do the uh, chicken coop. And uh, I haven't noticed a difference in either the uh, temperature of the greenhouse going up in the uh, mornings, you know, when it gets the coldest outside. Uh, there's not much of a difference in there. Right now it's about 48 degrees outside. And we got the uh, greenhouse open. So I'm going to come in here really quick. Push all that back. My needle's in there. And uh, I'm going to test it out and see if it's actually producing any heat using a food thermometer that I got. Leave it in there for a second, see what happens. See what happens here in a second. It's creeping up a little bit. I'll see what happens here in a second or two. But for the most part, I'm just not getting the heat out of this compost that I thought I was going to be getting enough to warm up the greenhouse. Um, I know a lot of people have been using uh, compost in their... Uh, greenhouse system I did a little research on it but they have some really big compost piles and then they're mixing them in with the uh, ground and with under you know with pipes going under and everything and it seems to be heating up the greenhouse we'll give this a second and see what happens well the concepts good uh, it's about 73 degrees inside the uh, compost bin. You know, it might get a little bit higher as it breaks down some more. But it's not enough to put this greenhouse into some good heat. Um, basically, I'd rather not even have this in here because that means I can move around easier in my greenhouse, moving plants, uh, be bumping into this thing all the time. So I'm probably going to take it out uh, once I mix all this in right before I get all my... Uh, spring starts going so 73 degrees in here you can feel it just a little bit of warmth not much uh, it's uh, 47 outside so I just don't think this is a uh, good option for heating the greenhouse well I hope you liked the video if you did give me a big thumbs up push that subscribe button thanks for watching and have a great day